Okay, Caleb here from CP Intel, and I just have another tutorial for you. And in this one, I'm going to show you how to get your photos from your Android device onto your computer. And in this one, we're going to be using what I like to call the drag and drop method. Very easy, very simple. Um, yeah, it's that's exactly it. All you're going to need is obviously your phone and uh, your data transfer cable. Uh, the one that came with your phone works great or any other uh, data transfer micro USB cable uh, you may have. So uh, let's just go ahead and get right started. So uh, what you're going to do is obviously take your uh, data cable, plug it into your computer, and then plug in your phone. And so the first time you should get something kind of like this. Now this is Windows 8. It might be a little different if you're using Windows 7. You'll get more of a box like this that'll pop up in the middle. Now we're going to choose what to do with this device. What do we want to do? Well, your first instinct is probably do import photos and videos. Don't do it. Just don't do it. You're going to want to go open device to view files. That'll open it up our device in a new window. But what you also need to make sure you do is uh, unlock your device. So if you've got a pattern lock or a pin or whatever, you make sure you enter the pin and then you will have access to the storage. So once we've done all that, uh, we're going to then find our photos and then the nice thing about this is that they're always in the same place except sometime well the same place um, either on your internal storage or you can save your set up a camera to save your photos to a micro SD card if you have one installed so either or whatever I'm going to assume they're on our phone's internal storage so we double click there get to the folders and we're going to look through. Now they should be in alphabetical order, so it makes it nice and easy. And you can find one called Pictures, but that's not actually the folder where your photos are. Um, in the Pictures folder, it usually keeps uh, screenshots and uh, camera cache, but not your actual photos. Now what we're going to do is find the one labeled DCIM. And now that's going to be the same, uh, same folder, uh, same name on any device you have. Um, whether it be HTC, Samsung, uh, LG, whatever, your photos are always in the DCIM folder. And then we're going to go camera. And then here they are. And so, like I said, uh, we can choose specifically what photos we want instead of, say, having to collect them all. We can just, you know, select, whoops, select, you know, whatever photos. Oh, I only want uh, these two. Or as well, if you hold down, uh, press and hold the control button, and keep holding while you're holding it, then you can just grab specific photos, whatever ones you want. And then once you've selected with the photos you'd like to transfer, all you do is uh, left click, hold the hold your click, and then just drag them. So you see it turns into a little square with the five, and then we just drag them right to wherever we want to put them. So I'm just going to put them on my desktop because that's nice and easy and I can put them wherever I want after. And that's it. So that's all you need to do. Um, I'll go through now if you have your picture set to save onto your external SD. Uh, it's the exact same uh, procedure. You just uh, go into there, DCIM, and whoop, camera, and here they are. Uh, one thing I will mention, if you are having a problem where uh, the thumbnails aren't popping up or aren't populating, you're just getting uh, blanks, uh, all you have to do is write in the phone there, you just double click, and <clears throat> sorry, the uh, whatever photo will pop up, and then the photos are organized generally uh, from the oldest to the newest at the bottom. So if you just gotta grab them blind, you know, just grab a selection. You know, your most these would be the most recent photos. Okay, so that is it. That's how you get your photos from your Android onto your desktop. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and check out my YouTube channel, YouTube.com/user/cellphoneintel with one L. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and check out my YouTube channel, um, and go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Um, it really does help. I do. Uh, I do really appreciate it, and that way you'll be kept up to date on any uh, new videos, discoveries, tips, tricks, all kinds of stuff. Um, I've got a Windows 8 um, uh, tutorials going as well that I'm going to be uploading soon. So be on the lookout for those. 
as well I'm going to do another photo transfer video uh, and I'm, in that one I'm going to show you how to use Keys Air to wireless, wirelessly ugh, wirelessly transfer uh, photos from your Samsung device onto your computer it's going to be awesome so come check it out and once again thank you so much for watching this has been your cell phone intelligence as always I'm Caleb and until next time